church say amen. amen. If you've been through service today, you've been through what we all we've all been through it so far. I know you can see it better than that. Let the church say amen. amen. We sang our heart out. We gave y'all some entertainment. We gave you a spiritual blessing. Now I gotta feed you this something. <laughs> Right. I'm start by reading you Genesis 2 and 7. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. With that being said, today is a day of, of men's. It's our men's day. So if I can have all the men's in the house stand up, and let's give them a, a, a clap of hands.
makes a difference in our lives if God is not ahead of us. Say that. Say that. Through biblical history, man has been used by God to play important parts in this God's salvation, eternal plan of his people. So grab your significant others, your children, your neighbors, or even just a friend, and bring them to church. Read your Bible with your family. Minister to that man, that man that haven't been has been through struggles. Because you know, we as men have a better influence on other men than that what we really realize. Instead of when we play a domino game, instead of us trying to zone and joke, I dare you to try to speak the words to your brother. All right. I guarantee you you'll get a reaction that you'll be surprising her. Because sometimes we as men, we don't know how to get that starting point. We don't know how to get that first foot to walk to Christ. But we know how to get that first foot to walk to the bootlegger. All right. I mean, I'm speaking from, from learned life experience. I haven't always been where I'm at today. But, you know, the Lord ain't still working on me yet. Amen. There's no shame in my game on how, how he has brought me from... He brought me from a mighty long ways. Yeah. I pray he keep arming me around. He keep his arm around me so I can continue to walk in my purpose and my divine plan. Yeah. One more thing I want to share with you is that shows that I, uh, one more thing I want to share with you is that research shows, I told you I was a numbers guy, but research shows you that if the mother is the first to become to Christ, the likeness of the family to follow is only 17%. 17%. But on the other hand, if the father is the first to become Christ, come to Christ, there's a 93% likeness that everyone in the household will follow and stay in church and lead their family through Christ. So please build your personal relationship with God. Take the time, read your Bible, study your word, fellas. We are the overseers. So let's let's be about God's business.